Hey everybody, it's Eddie coming to you from Flagstaff, Arizona. It's January 15th now, it's midnight tonight. Um, we're two weeks into January. We're two weeks into the new year. So I hope you guys have gotten started on your new year with taking action with intention towards your goals. Okay, not just taking action one step here, there, wandering off and just, well, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving in your... Your goal is headed this way, but you're headed that way. Well, I'm moving, Eddie. Well, I'm moving. That's all that matters. No, we got to move with intention. We got to bring everything here where everything's congruent. Our mindset, our actions, everything are in line with where you want to be at the end of this year in December. We got to create it. Okay. So I got this. I was watching E.T., the hip hop preacher. I went to go just throw in one of his videos, and within the first minute, he said something about intention. So, boom, I stopped it, paused it, said, All right, it's time for a video. Okay. A lot of us, we want this, we want big things to change, but we're still stuck in this little box. We're not willing to step out of that box. I know that was a funny example, but we're not willing to step out of the box. And it's a fear. It's a fear of success, it's a fear of failure. Okay, and it's funny how our mindset is. Our mindset is, is we look at one thing one way, and it's like, oh, this is this is awesome. Here's an example. Okay, baseball. There are millionaires, millionaires created for people that fail seventy percent of the time. Okay, people that fail sixty-eight percent of the time. What do I mean by that? A guy that can play ball in the majors and have a 300, 325 batting average is a stud. That means that person failed 70% of the time, okay? 68% of the time. We don't look at it as that, do we? Okay? But in other aspects of life, we look at it as, well, this person failed on this one. Or, yeah, he did or she did or I failed. You know, I tried it twice and I failed once. And, you know, yeah, I went to you know when I had success it, it was nice but it wasn't all that our minds so screwed up that in baseball we look at at the positive aspect of it correct 30 percent of the time you succeeded in your superstar but 30 percent of the time in anything else that you succeed you're a failure because you failed 70 percent of the time so we got to change that mindset. So what can you do? You know what? There are so many things you can do. And it's funny. Take care of your health, your nutrition. You can start reading. Well, Eddie, I don't like to read. Well, then quit bitching about where you're at. Okay, if you're not willing to expand your mind, change your actions, because your actions have created or directed you to where you're at now, if you are unhappy. There are those that are happy that want more, that still expand their minds. You know, I was talking to a leader that's going to be on a Power Man Hour with uh, myself and Vidal here soon, real soon. And I was talking to her, and she was talking, we were talking about how important mindset is. And she hired a coach, and she says, Everybody's like, Why are you hiring a coach? You're a coach yourself. Everybody needs a coach. Everybody needs another influence. Everybody needs that somebody that's outside of your picture seeing the whole thing because it's harder for you to see the picture when you are in it okay so we got to live with intention we got to live with purpose relationships work jobs your business opportunities um, you name it you got to live it with intention no half-assing no well I'm gonna tippy toe you know a lot of us focus on on um, we've been hurt in relationships here's a prime example Okay, we've been hurt in relationships, so all guys are assholes, all women are you know what. Okay, so next time we find somebody, oh, okay, there's a there's a possibility. I like this person. This person's good, but you're gonna keep yourself guarded. Why? Because you got burned last time. So what are you doing? You're denying the possibility of an amazing relationship because you got burned and you're stuck on what happened in the past. That relationship's never going to have a full opportunity to blossom because you're going to be half-assing the whole time. Okay, you got to be willing. Yes, it's scary. You got to be vulnerable. Yes, it's scary. But what are the rewards you're going to reap? 
if it's meant to be? What are the rewards you're going to reap if you let your guard down? Okay, you got to be able to see opportunities. And that's what I mean with, and here's an example. And this is the yeah, blast from the past. So I had this picture pulled up. This is when I was a hot shot. This was a small town in Idaho called Atlanta, Idaho. And the fire is headed right towards the town. You see our crew hall. Up in those trees are homes. The fire was hauling ass towards town. The team that was managing the fire were in, was in a defensive mode, and rightfully so. The crew I was on, myself and the superintendent, decided to hike up in there. They did not want us to. We wanted to see if there was an opportunity to do something. And I kid you not, we hiked up in there, but we had our asses covered. We had lookouts, so if something snuck around us, we can bail out quick. We knew where our safety zones were. We, we knew where we could go. But you had to, we had to see if there was an opportunity to do something. If there wasn't, then fine. At least we looked. Okay. At least we went and checked. And don't ask me how, what, when, why, what happened. The wind shifted just enough. And had we not been in there, we saw the opportunity and we took charge. We had been up since that morning. This is midday. And we had, my, the crew I was on, we took over. We had burned out, we had burned around the town, and we protected the town. The thing is, is whether it's a relationship. You know, I was sitting at lunch with uh, Cesar Rodriguez, uh, a couple other guys, and this young man asked Cesar, he's like, you know, how, how do you approach women? Or how should I approach women? I saw this beautiful woman one time, and yeah, I wanted to talk to her, but, you know, I'm worried about getting shut down. And Cesar said something that we all know is, you're never going to know until you try. You're never going to know. So, yes, she may not be the one, but what if? Okay. Job opportunities. What if? We lay down what our expectations of a job is going to be. I want this, 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 this. I deserve this because I'm extremely valuable. Employer says, okay, I'll give you all that. Well, then we stop and hesitate. Well, wait, what's, there's got to be something fishy going on here. Okay, first you held yourself up to this high standard, high value, which you should. Somebody sees it, meets it, and then you're like, wait a minute. Well, actually, I'm down here. We question ourselves. We doubt ourselves. We don't live with intention. So what's the message in this? Is shit or get off the pot. Okay, if you want 2014 to be huge, you want 2014 to be your breakthrough year, you got to let go of, of you. Because obviously... Where you're at, you're unhappy. That's why you want this year to be huge, okay? Obviously, where you're at, you want something. You're here. You, you got a lot what you want, but you want to get to that next level. You got to release a little bit more of who you are. You got to be willing to grow. You got to be willing to accept constructive criticism. You got to be willing to put yourself out there. You got to be willing to be a student to become a better leader, okay? Live with the intention of creating your own life. Okay, live with the intention of doing something huge. Live with the intention of touching other lives. And you start doing that by creating your life. Not in a selfish manner. Work on yourself. Read a book. Shoot a video. Find an accountability partner. Learn to let your guard down a little bit, which is scary. But if you're not willing to open yourself up to receive, you're not going to receive that much. So hope you guys find some value in this. Please comment. Please like. Please share. So anyways, hope everything's going good. 2014, year to take action. If you haven't started, start now. Okay, if you've started, need a little kick in the rear. Please feel free to contact me. I got my boys that I call that kick me in the rear every now and then. There's nothing wrong with that. No shame in that. Okay. So here we go. 2014. Let's make it awesome. We're halfway through January. Let's end January on a good note as if February is never going to be here. Okay. So you guys have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are when you're watching this. Talk to you soon. Bye.